I've I never seen someone with free form locks in the bank. Even traditional locks is very difficult. Even when you see it, it's on a woman and it's really well, you know, gelled to the back, you know, arranged in such a way that people won't get offended. <laughs> Now I'm going to tackle some of the popular misconceptions about having locks, you know, what people say about locks that ain't true. It is not true, it's a lie. Okay? So keep watching. Locks are for Rastafarians or spiritual people. First of all, it's okay to meet people that have locks and they are really spiritual or they are Rastafarians, but this doesn't cut across. It doesn't mean that everybody you see with locks is immediately spiritual worshiping something jazz and all of that i have locks i'm not spiritual so i mean locks is more like a style anybody can wear it locks are dirty again again i don't know who started this rumor it's more like saying afro hair is ugly you know i mean locks are not dirty okay this is a personal thing maybe you met someone you know the weird thing about nigerians that every time someone meets me like oh my god your hair smells really nice oh your hair is this your hair is that oh i met someone and the person's hair was really dirty i'm like okay okay i always meet people with dirty wigs i don't just assume that everybody that wears wig is dirty come on use your sense what's going on <laughs> what is this <laughs> what is this really i mean it's not dirty it's a personality thing so if you met someone who had dirty locks in the past that's the person's problem it doesn't mean everybody with locks all of us our hair is dirty it doesn't make sense okay i think the worst thing i've heard so far about locks is using toothpaste to start your locks or even cement legit want to, one, one guy told me one time in lucky that he wants to help me lock my hair I asked him with what? He said he wanted to use toothpaste. I was like, bro. And he claims to be a loctician. You see? You see human beings? Don't let anyone put toothpaste in your hair. It doesn't make sense. Another one is that locks, um, people with locks are lazy and they are irresponsible. I feel like this is this is funny, okay? Locks are not for lazy people. I know locks are supposed to be low maintenance. In fact, if you do it well, locks are low maintenance. You just wash your hair. For me, I wash my hair once a week. I oil my scalp sometimes during the week. I spray my hair with water or aloe vera. And that is just about it. It doesn't mean I'm lazy. I have other things to do. And I pretty much do my hair. So people assume that if you have locks, especially free from locks, you just wake up and voila! You don't do anything to your hair. You just poof you're gone it doesn't make any sense then the one of locks being for uh, irresponsible people it doesn't make sense okay it still boils down to this whole stereotype thing that nigerians do a lot they assume that if you have locks you are a bad boy you are a bad girl if you have tattoos you are bad if you dye your hair you are bad if you have multiple piercings oh you'll be a shell <laughs> okay this one is you cannot start locks on short hair long hair I'm using both because people ask me these questions. Oh, I have an afro. Can I still lock my hair? Or oh, my hair is really short. Can I lock my hair? The truth is that if you can grab your hair, if your hair is, if you have the short hair problem and you can twist your hair, you can grab it a little, like you can pinch it out. Trust me, you can get locks. If your hair is long, no problem. You can still get locks. So you don't have to start from short hair. You don't have to cut your long hair to get locks. If you like it, it's your style. Just go for it, okay? I have a video that shows the different methods you can start your locks with. Trust me, you don't want to miss that video. So just scroll up, up, down. Okay, just scroll down on my channel and you check styles, easy styles on how you can start your locks. Easy peasy. Whether you have short hair, long hair, medium sized hair, it doesn't matter. Anybody can get locks. Locks damage your hair. I saw a post, no, I actually saw a video some time back about a lady nagging about how locks damaged her hair i didn't even watch the video i just read the comments and people people just really schooled her it doesn't make sense you have locks then you want to get back to lose natural hair you cut your locks and you you are saying that locks damaged your hair i don't get it make, make sense because 
it doesn't make sense like i don't get it you cut your hair you didn't even try to loosen your hair or whatever that brings me to if you want to get rid of your locks you have to cut it but people always ask me this question personally i don't mind cutting my hair i mean i've had hair i've had it for like about going to seven years now so i mean I don't mind going on low cuts or whatever that is. I really don't care. But again, I've seen videos, tons and tons of videos of people picking their locks and losing it. But guess what? It takes time. A lot of time. I saw one guy, it took him three weeks. Three, one, two, three. Three weeks to lose his locks. <laughs> Who has time for that? basically the thing is that if you are tired of your locks you can lose it but once your locks are mature i think it's going to take longer a very long time for you to lose it but if your locks are like under nine months oh easy peasy just put a combinator you're out of here locks are for ratchet people who lumps or whatever again i say it boils down to your personality if you are a bad person and you get locks it doesn't mean that locks getting locks made you bad you were already a bad person before getting those locks do you understand so i don't know why people like to associate the hairstyle with the personality these are two separate things come on locks are not professional honestly if i'm being fair or if i'm being yeah neutral if you have i feel like locks over here over here in my side of the world ghana nigeria africa west africa locks are more tolerated on females okay now even though they are more tolerated on females traditional locks are more tolerated okay if you have free form locks if your if your hair is not well tamed you know people will just look at you like oh you want to do something to your hair i mean are you going to do something to your hair when i worked a nine to five job on the island my hair wasn't even mature then like my locks it, it looked like um two strand twist they, they would ask me almost every day oh your hair i going to do something to eat i going to wear a wig i going to braid this i'm like i have locks they are still forming people don't get this so it really depends on your field Again, if you work in a media space or a creative space, you know, where you write, saying whatever, people don't really care about that. But if you want to work in a more corporate environment, like the bank, I don't know. I've, I've never seen someone with free form locks in the bank. Even traditional locks is very difficult. Even when you see it, it's on a woman and it's really well, you know, gelled to the back, you know, arranged in such a way that people won't get offended dreadlock is an offensive term personally i don't care call it dread call it locks call it dreadlocks anything that you call it i'm not going to get offended that's for me but some people can't take this so if someone says oh don't if, don't call my hair dreads don't call my hair dreadlocks call my hair locks my dear stick to it stick to their pronouns stick to their pronouns so avoid fights again i read something about this i did my own research and i discovered that it's not a negative term it dread doesn't refer to dreadful it's more like a certain god that the rastafarians worshipped and they kind of like dreaded respected the god in a way blah 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 i'm not really religious that kind of stuff so it's not really a negative term you know so but again if you're not comfortable with it don't allow people call your hair dread just stick to locks the last but not the least it's so awkward when you are like somewhere and somebody walks up to you and the person is like you got weed bro i don't smoke <laughs> i mean i have locks but i don't smoke relax chill calm down bro like or maybe if you're even hanging out with friends and they just pass you a, a smoke like yo yo you know puff some nah no i'm not popping that the assumption that everyone with locks smokes is it's not fair it hurts my feelings what i'm trying to say is that having locks doesn't mean that you are a smoker these are two different things i've seen people that look they are bowed they look decent society decent no tattoo no piercing but ah! pipeline pipeline you understand pipeline this 
the smoke Ugh. this argument locks are for only black people when they say black basically it means that if you don't have any dna any lineage nothing that nothing black don't get locks if you are a typical white person caucasian you are white don't get locks because the thing with locks okay the reason i feel like locks is more like a black person thing is because with locks you don't even have to do anything to your hair if you just stop detangling your hair your hair is naturally going to mat because black people's hair we have coily hair and what happens with locks is well your hair is marrying each other okay so the coils the kiss the twangle the hug and they become one that's what forms locks if that's what you like if you are white and you really want to get locks you feel like that is what is gonna tickle you just just do it okay you guys thank you for watching this video this is the end of this video if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down tell me what you think about this misconceptions and myth and all of that you have anything to add have you experienced any of these okay like this video leave a comment share with your friends and check out my other channel chidera is here for vlogs vlogs b b vlogs peace out see you in my next video